my name is Samantha White. We have been members of UDLC for the last year and a half. This is my husband. I'm Aaron White, and we also have two kids that come to the services as well. Gracie is five, and Henry is three, and my parents, Ira and Cynthia, are members of the congregation too. But we really wanted a place where people were open uh, minded, where it there was a sense of that we felt like we belonged and everyone was genuinely kind. I think that was a really important piece for us. I was actually raised Catholic. My dad is Jewish and it was important that we were brought to a place to explore spirituality and to be in fellowship with others that was open and welcoming to everybody. That helped us want to become more involved because we just felt like we were being embraced and just like the space was held for us and we could take from it what we what we wanted. It's also given us the ability to open up a language about God and our connection to, to spirit and our and our values as a family. Um, each week we can use the sermon as a guide and we can we can use that with our kids in prayer and it's been it's been something that's brought a wholeness to us and what i love most is my daughter's ability because she's she's five my son is three so my daughter is leaning more on what she's learning here and what she's learning through godly play what she's learning from her friends and there is a piece that comes with that that i'm really grateful for her we're very busy. We have an extremely busy schedule with kids, and I'm sure many other parents under, can relate to that. And so being able to take a moment of rest to be self-reflective and do that as a family in a very safe space is important. And it's interesting to see how that's helped us just kind of recenter for the, for the week. I think what I what I appreciate most about the ministry of our church is the is the open arms, the open hearts, the open minds that people have and the gentle welcome into into our into our church. It's really nice to know that each week I come to this place, I let out a breath of relief and I get to be with other families. I let my children be, I know my children are safe and welcome. And I know that I can lean on other people that have been there or are going through the same thing. Just to be surrounded by other people that are, that are just want to help the community and just all in kindness and goodness um, is just really special. My hope for our church is to see our children's ministries grow. I think that the programs are exceptional the way that they are, and I want everyone to know about them. <laughs> I want to like be a person and be a family and be an example of just opening the door like we had. I'd love to see more um, families and also young people coming in and just experiencing a sense of like uh, uh, spiritual love. And I think that is important um, uh, piece for young people as they're trying to figure out who they are, what, what they are experiencing, how they belong in the world, and how they can help the world. I think that this church it provides a perfect place for young people to just be able to be just, you know, just held in goodness and kindness to do that. We have loved learning about the capital campaign, even as new members of the church and learning about all of the facilities here and, and the improvements that are coming. It's, it's interesting because as we've talked about the capital campaign it, it, and, a, and a young family starting out, we don't have a lot of fiscal giving power. Um, and what I, what I think is important to remember is that even a small, a small gift to this campaign, a small contribution makes such a big difference in all of our programs. It also develops a habit of the heart to create this relationship with our church as we grow in our family and our financial wellness hopefully flourishes more, we'll be able to give more. But every piece and every contribution has a, has a big impact.